Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is Robert and today I am bringing to you the full drop list for this week which is going to be week 7 of the spring summer season. Now for this week, I'll be honest, I was expecting some other pieces to go along or to accompany uh, the collaboration for this week which is quite a monumental one to say the least but we can get straight into that in a moment. But yeah, there's, there's actually nothing as far as I've seen unless it's all sudden going to get a little revamp or update but as far as I can tell it is a collaboration like solely focused week that's going to be it but yeah it's quite crazy but yeah let's just jump straight into this anyway as per norm let me know down below what you're going to be going for whether or not you're going to like queue to go in store or yeah in general what you're going to be doing but without further ado let's go straight into this so like i said it's it's solely focused on this and this only which is going to be the Maison margella uh collaboration if i've butchered that i've butchered that but i've, I've tried my best uh <laughs> yeah so this is big, to say the least. Now, as far as I understand, uh, MM6, which is the specific aspect to this, is the diffusion line. Don't ask me. Do not. Do not bother. It's. I'm not into that sort of high, high end. You know, I'm. I'm middle ground for things. Um, but it's the diffusion line uh, for Maison Margiela. Now, the thing about it is, is that it's more like saying that things are readily available or more readily available, but it's still the same brand at the end of the day. So it's, it's like saying, say if something was like 400 and then this is like 350 or 325. It, it's not that much of a difference in price point, like overall within that realm. It's just the fact that it's just that little bit of a different uh, line in comparison. But that's that's the best thing that I can give you. Now, in terms of how monumental this is and how big this is, I will be honest, it's, it's big. Like, it really is. A lot of the brands that a lot of people have come to love and enjoy nowadays realistically wouldn't really exist without it. Like... I, I, uh, it's so difficult to like put into terms. To keep things just really, really brief, uh, you have like Raph Simmons and basically like Jean-Paul Gaultier. Just that sort of like sets a bar for it. There are, there are numerous upon numerous upon numerous uh, others out there and brands out there like it's, yeah, you can look into yourself basically. Let's get into the items for the time being because that's what truly matters obviously at the end of the day. There's a lot going on. So we're going to kick things off with the foil box logo hoodie. Personally for me, I know that a lot of people like the black colorway for this. Personally, I'm kind of on the borderline of the white colorway. I know that it can get dirty very easily, white tones, but it's just one of those things for me. I just think that I, I prefer it as an overall, yeah. Uh, you've got some embroidery going onto the wrist. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same as what's going on here, which is just the MM6. Uh, uh, sort of like logo or branding. We've got the box logo T. For people to understand, this is a photo of a box logo T on a T. Just, yeah, <laughs> just understand that. So, yeah, I don't really need to say any more for it, to be honest. One of the pieces that I really like, uh, there, there are like three or four overall that I really am a fan of. Uh, this is one of them, which is going to be the receipt wallet. I love things like this, I'm not going to lie. I've still got a Supreme receipt from when they dropped the crowbar, which is quite cool. But yeah, to have it as a receipt, I think that's quite cool. Uh, I like how simple it is, like the simplicity is great, how it actually just looks like a bundle of receipts I like as well. What have we even got here? Spring Summer 18? Yeah, SS18. I wonder whose receipt this was in the end. So it's from Lafayette. I wonder if they were like, who's got a receipt? Like... Can we get one? Uh, but what this is, is this is a nod to the $11 uh, bill uh, wallet that was released in 2008 by Maison Margiela. Um, so, yeah, notably it's got all of the same details of like the uh, elastic uh, around it or the band around it. So, yeah, it's quite cool that they're doing that. But I definitely think this is quite a highlight. Uh, we have the skateboard up next or skateboard deck. I think it's cool. Obviously this is showing what's underneath which is going to be a large supreme spell out. I think it's cool. Nice simplicity. Easy. It'll probably age really well as well for a skateboard deck. So yeah from there we have another piece uh, that is going to be one of my favourites which is going to be the zip up hoodie. Now I'm not really a zip up fan. That's it. You can, you can cut there. That's where it ends. But personally for me I really do like how this piece is and how this piece looks. I just do. Uh, it's got the branding of Supreme, it's got, you know, the date, it's got the six, it's got inside the hood, which is really cool with the skulls. I just think it works. I like uh, that all of the colorways work as well, specifically. 
you know, sometimes when they release pieces with several colorways to it, the text on it just, it doesn't really work. And yeah, the colorways chosen don't blend. And with this, it does, it's perfectly fine. So yeah, any of the colorways are great. I'm a fan of it. One of the more so intricate pieces that's going to be releasing is going to be the Split Varsity. This is pieces from, I believe, either like 2007 or 2008, all the way up to like 2018. You're going oldest on the far right, I believe. 2011 to something for the Supreme um, piece here. And then obviously you've got the Motion Varsity. Now, I know a lot of people are very hit and miss on it. You know, they're like, no, I'd rather save my money. I get that. It is 600. I understand that it's more than the normal retails. But at the same time, I think this will be very limited and you're paying for something that is like realistically to get the pieces separately costs a lot. I know you'd be like, well, I'd rather get them separately to wear. But at the same time, it's sort of like a timeless piece in the end for what you are getting out of it as an overall. I really do like this Varsity jacket, I'm not going to lie, I like the original, it's actually so amazing. But yeah, anyway, we've then got the Crew Socks, which I'm still trying to like understand them. Do we have to cut it ourselves or is it just like they've just lined them up like that? For like a reason. I don't know. I'm still trying to understand it. But anyway, we've got the Hanes socks. We've got Hanes this week. We've got the oversized uh, liquid blue tee dropping too with the skulls yet again. It's not my favourite piece from all of them, but still, it's cool at the end of the day. So I'm not going to be a person who's like, oh my god, I love everything. Because some things I'm like, eh, like the box logo tee, I'm kind of like, eh. I mean, it's still a box logo tee, but is it? You know. Uh, we've got the painted camp cap. When people put their hats, I was kind of looking forward to it, but then when I saw that it was painted, I was kind of like, I don't know, not put off by it, but it didn't really do the same thing for me. It didn't really have the same effect, I'm not going to lie. We've got the foil hooded work jacket up next. Same sort of thing as the hoodies. I think that in this one, though, the black colorway just works the best because the white colorway, yeah, I don't know about that. I just think the black colorway just looks better as an overall. It's just my personal, personal preference and thoughts. Now... With the tagless tank top, I've seen a photo of this, obviously from Supreme as others have seen, which makes it like absolutely massive and long. <laughs> I really don't, I don't know. Are you meant to like, I don't know. People will have to, I'll have to get like an explanation from people. I don't know. It seems that a couple of pieces were actually added in for this week, which were the old English short sleeve top and the sweater. I literally refreshed and they were there. So yeah. I didn't actually clock them beforehand. Maybe I just wasn't focusing. I only really like the olive, the grey and the black colourway, I'm not going to lie. I do kind of like the front tone uh, of like the navy or like almost purplish, but eh. Uh, as far as the sweat is concerned, I like the pink, navy and the black colourway. Brown colourway and the white are okay, but I just prefer those three. Back to the collaboration, we've got the foil double knee painter pant, which a lot of people are like at that price for a double knee painter pant from them as well. A lot of people are happy about that, realistically is the way to put it. Black colorway for me personally is just the, the better colorway. It just is, I just feel that's just my preference. So yeah, we've then got a Crips Knight chain and lock disc. It's up there in price, but you know, it's just one of those things. And now for one of the most limited pieces that we'll see in a minute is going to be the patchwork faux fur coat. Taking the retail, obviously, is what it is. I saw people being like, oh, it's gonna be like five, six hundred, seven hundred. No, it's a thousand dollars, thousand euros, eight fifty-eight. But for that, you are getting one of the most limited pieces in a minute, as I said. There have been some things that have been, you know, under 50 and such. Uh, this is limited or there are less than 100 of these or there have been less than 100 of these produced for Supreme. So, yeah, that's kind of insane, isn't it, realistically? I wish that they would have put almost like a number to it, like what number you got out of how many. It's just something, it's just something. But yeah, I think it's cool. If I had the funds, I genuinely would do. I just, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be done for. Uh, we've got a padded shirt up next. It's okay. It's not my favourite. I think the black and white are the better colourways as an overall. I'm not really a fan of this one uh, across the board. I'm just I'm just not. But yeah, black and white colourway, I think are perfectly fine. So yeah. Uh, surplus five panel. We'll see that. Uh, we've got these suits next, the uh, wash cotton suit. Personally, I think the navy tone is probably the better one, but I also am kind of a fan of sort of white when then people choose sort of vibrant tones underneath or to accompany them. So 
I'm a bit hit and miss on that, but yeah. Padded short, I'm of the same mind, just black or white. I'm just not a massive fan of this pinstripe type of tone. That's just me. Uh, for the most expensive piece of the week, we've got the wig, which is literal hair. It is actual hair, keep that in mind. So that is why the retail is what it is. So yeah, and to finish things off, we've got the uh, washed cotton suit vest, obviously to go alongside the suit. I wish that they sort of released this as a three piece altogether, but then the retail will probably be like 1200, 1100 overall, but just, I don't know. I just feel like it would have been a little bit easier because I don't think this is going to fly, but at the off chance that it does, I'm sure people be quite infuriated if they want the suit and that, the vest to go alongside, and they can't get it to match with theirs or they can't get their size. But yeah, that is basically going to cover this week. So personally for me, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy because this is crazy that it's happening overall. There are some pieces that I'm kind of like, eh, to. I'm not going to act like I'm like, oh my God, you know, ride the train of it because that's not the point, but it is quite cool that we are getting this. Retails are kind of out of my like, budget, out of my reach. I mean, the wallet I could go for, but yeah. Let me know down below what you're going to be going for, whether or not you're going to camp to go in store, because it is first come, first serve, unfortunately. There have been no sign-up forms or anything, so yeah. And what you're going to be going for, if you can. The only thing on my mind is I'd possibly... The wallet is cool. I might get the skateboard, but at the same time, I might just, you know, just not, just leave things be and just yeah just appreciate the drop and see what sells out at what time so yeah but yeah that is going to cover it for me anyway so i do hope that you have a good rest of your day and i will see you all next time peace